So we sitting here at Tierra's graduation. Yes, from college, not for her GED. We're all shocked. We all knew she wasn't gonna make it this far. She shocked the whole family. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we got my mom in the background. She in shock. We don't know what's going on. We don't believe it until she actually crossed the stage. So uh, yeah, we always thought I was gonna be the only one to take it this far, but uh, it looks like she uh, actually did it. I don't know who she paid or what she did. Hey, just congratulations, Terry. Great job. Job well done, baby. I like you. Good job, honey. All right. You don't want to say she, where she got her smarts from? Uh, definitely from me, for sure. No doubt. Okay. Yeah, I know. We don't bother believe that. No one thought Tierra would make it this far. Everybody knew that I was the only smart one out of the three. But uh, Tierra did it. And uh, let's see what Etwan can do. You know, I have three college degrees, so I'm still the smartest. Tierra has one now. Let's see if Etwan can get like a certificate or a ribbon or something. We'll see. Uh, it's really letting the family down, but I guess two out of three isn't that bad. So I'm glad that Tierra really came into this again. Now here she is making some. You gotta speak up. She's gonna make us more life. And she's gonna be able to take her son. And she's gonna have a very important people. She's gonna take his station and make her a good job out of her. Yeah. My mom, I love my mom for graduation. And she's, and I love my mom for graduation today. And I'll, I'll always love my family. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. I'm freaking time to decide to do something to follow on my life. Hey. I'm glad somebody said it. Yes. <laughs> I said you don't want to say anything to your mom for graduating today? Yes. What you want to say? I can't buy my own gym. My dad tells me I have a wager. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. John, what do you got to say about TR graduating today? Congrats. I want my money back. And... <laughs> what the heck is that supposed to mean? You'll see tonight. My stomach hurt. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to show this to my mom, though. Tierra Kermit is a graduate from our medical building and coding program. She's currently working for the American Red Cross and studying for her CPT exam. Tierra is graduating with to honors tonight. I present to you Tierra Kermit. All right, now. Four. Woo 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 woo! That's hilarious. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tierra Crombie, and I'm a medical building and coding graduate at Kaplan College. Woo! First of all, I'd like to give honor to God and say what a pleasure it is to be standing here in front of all of you tonight. That's a good I first started my journey at Kaplan in March of this year. I was so excited to be going back to school. I had everything planned out, everything ready to go. I passed my admissions exam. I completed the orientation portion of the enrollment process. The only thing I have to do now is just pick up my uniforms. Two days before class had started, unexpectedly, my mother had suffered from a brain aneurysm and a stroke. I can say that it was one of the most hurtful, painful feelings that I've ever experienced before. At that time in my life, I knew that everything had changed. Everything that I was so excited about, everything that was so important to me, was no longer important. Everything had to take a back seat, including school. Facing a 3% chance to live and on life support, and in a coma, through the grace of God, two weeks later she woke up and she made it through. That was the best day of my life that I could say by far. To bring my mother through something so detrimental and to survive was my testimony and I knew that the sky was the limit. 
It was very evident that I already had the mindset to strive for success. However, what I experienced with my mother was a major setback, or at least I thought it was. What it really was was just the type of motivation that I needed in my life to say, this is my time for a fresh new start. I got up every day. I went to school. I worked hard. I studied hard. And I tried my absolute best. Every day I left school, I went straight to the hospital to take care of my mother while she was in the ICU and then when she eventually transferred to the rehabilitation center. Let's not forget to mention that I have two very small children of my own. Even though I had a lot going on in my life, that did not stop me. The physical pressure, the emotional stress of my mom, again, I say it was just my motivation. Today I stand here and I graduate with honors, in spite of my personal circumstances. I am so thankful for the people who not only held my hand throughout this process, but who also encouraged me along the way. <laughs> to my instructors, I would like to thank you for your warm and motherly demeanor you always show me. Miss Abe, I would like to thank you for not allowing me to give up after my first color line because I was really on my way out. <laughs> I want to thank you for the hallway talks, the talks after class, and most importantly, I can't forget to thank you for the looks that you gave me for my number. I want to thank both of you for pushing me beyond my limits. For just when I thought that good was good enough, you both made me see that I was great. And finally, I want to thank all my friends and family, the whole captain staff, for all your support and guidance throughout this journey. But most importantly, I would like to again thank God for allowing my mother to be here to see her only daughter. Anyways, I'm so disappointed in my sister for not saying nothing to about me in the, uh, her speech. You know, the only reason I came was so I could be in a commercial or something, hoping they'll shoot a commercial so I could be in the background like, you sitting on the couch, you ain't doing nothing with yourself, stupid, your mama ain't sh your daddy ain't sh you ain't go, <laughs> that's what I was here for, like the dude off the one commercial, but... <laughs> hey, I ain't done. I ain't done. I ain't done. I can't even. He ain't gonna just talk about me. I, I'm supposed to hold the camera. Hey, I could have even been the girl from the commercials. Like, oh my god, this place was like a family to me. I want to send a shout out to the child care program for watching all seven of my kids while I was in class. Cause my baby daddy's they ain't nothing. But it's okay, do you boo boo? Cause when I get my certificate, I'm gonna be making. Thirteen seventy-five an hour. What? <laughs> <laughs> Kaplan, <laughs> Kaplan University.